Hello guys and welcome back to Chernobylite and I think this is part 10 So yeah, this is you know, part 10, it's you know, a long... I think this series is gonna be the longest of all those I have made previous I think last was the longest one I had so far Uh, let's see if there's anything... Igor, I need a minute What's going on? Something's up, NAR is being really active on the radio they're looking for someone, supposedly a traitor and a thief. I managed to pinpoint the location. It's Kopachi, the village near the Pripyat River. This could be our ticket into the power plant. This person might know something important or have access to useful gear. What do you think he could know? Passwords, credentials, uniforms, even rations. And it should be a fairly straightforward mission. If you're smart and fast, you won't even have to mix it up with NAR. You're right. This could be important. We should at least have a friendly chat with this so-called traitor. I'm glad you see my point. It's in Kopachi. You can't miss it. God damn it, Kopachi again. Man, it's only been in three places. Kopachi, Pripyat Port, and then uh, Moscow Eye. That's it. Three, three areas. You're joking. God damn it. <laughs> I want to explore new areas, like, I don't want to make the game harder. God damn it, game. Okay, I guess we have areas that are gonna be really foggy. Um, not sure how the radiation is gonna be there. Well, let's go. The enemy of my enemy is my friend, as they say. But can you ever trust a traitor, Igor? Trust is such a fragile thing, earned at a great price, yet so easily lost. But you never lost your trust in me, right, my love? Okay. Uh, it's not much. I have this mysterious area, but he's over here. Uh, I guess I'm gonna go check out the mysterious area first. Help! Please! Oh. Well, I, I guess he's done. You're next. You're next. I mean, uh, I think I'm. I think I'm fine. But uh, I guess there's something with the Chernobylite again. Have those monsters. So yeah, there's only one area to go to. Look sharp, this asshole's gotta be around here somewhere. Eyes open. I don't need any more shit from Kozlov. I know, I know, damn Samichels. Nothing but thieves, drifters, and lunatics. Why lunatics? What sane person would choose to live in this irradiated wilderness? Damn it. Start shooting at me? They usually don't do that. I don't think it. Finally, you see me in combat.
David is a deadly guy. I said AI is advanced, but uh, well, at least to turn around, that's not too bad. Well, what a fight! Uh, I guess I, I guess I can use some alcohol to remove my mental, uh, get my mentality up. Okay, he's right down here. Hey, don't hurt me! I'm... I'm unarmed! Hands where I can see them. I take it you're the traitor everyone's so anxious to find. What? Where did you get that? I'm no traitor! I was never even with the NAR! You'll have to be a lot more convincing than that. Those spooks really want to find you. Your face is all over the radio. All right, all right. I, I used to trade with some of the grunts sometimes. But those knuckleheads got confused about how trading works. They tried to rip me off, and... And what? One thing led to another, and you understand. I, I took a few little items to balance the account. Obviously, they didn't want the brass to find out about their little side hustle, so they cooked up this yarn about a traitor. Interesting. Yeah, but not nearly as interesting as you, my friend. You're new to the zone, right? You've been staying in Mikhail's warehouse. I wonder what you're up to. How did you know that? I need to go now. They're probably worried about me. Who's they? Sorry, I can't tell you that. Please step aside. I'm going now. Uh, no, you're not. We have no idea who this guy is, Igor. If we turn him loose, he could run straight back to NAR and trade our lives for their forgiveness or some other kind of deal. Don't you even think about letting him go. At least not before combing through his stuff. Don't try to Sorry, him. but I don't like your story. Why don't you tell me who you really are? And let's take a little look-see in your bag while we're at it. Who I am is none of your bloody business, and I'm not showing you shit. And we're both in a tough spot here. Maybe you're just a hustler, or maybe you're a spy. I can't just let you walk away. Yeah, looks like we're in a bind, all right. Balls in your court, asshole. Hmm, I'm gonna go or... Ah, let's do that. I mean, he's really sounding sketchy. If you're like, the way is like... I really am sorry, but I can't take any chances. I mean, you sound really sketchy. The way is like... You know... It's like, you're talking to a dude who ha has more power than you, and you're like trying to be smart ass about it. It's like, I guess it's not the smartest thing, it's basically like, you know, being smartest against the dude, the guy who has a gun. Uh, not good idea, I don't recommend it, okay? If I do Okay, <clears throat> so we got some more. Oh, that's good. It's really good. <clears throat> and so uh, the dude I killed probably had no loot. There's no conversation here. I'm surprised. Um, but yeah, no, he really did not sound trusting the way. Um, well, again, I know <laughs> the best answer to what to do, and uh, because I do something here doesn't mean I do the right thing. <clears throat> Let's keep that in mind. Uh, let's see, I can probably give him better armor. Special, I can I know I need more Hi, Igor. Materials. I trust everything's going well. Yes. Yes, what about yourself? I'm um, as well as can be expected. You've been through a lot, haven't you? Yes. I've seen some really fucked up shit since I became a soldier of fortune. I fought Somali pirates, trained insurgents in Latin America. I even helped squash an uprising at a diamond mine in Africa. You never felt what you were doing was somehow wrong? I never really thought about it. War is all I've ever known. Besides, it's a matter of perspective. 
To NAR, you and me are the bad guys. Reactionaries, terrorists. You're overthinking this. Now, don't worry. I remember where my loyalties lie, and who's paying me. Besides, I still have a score to settle with that black mask freak. Sup, Eagle? I'm okay. What's on your mind? Exploring Pripyat sometimes reminds me of my life in Moscow, when I was a teenager. We used to live in one of those awful cheap flats called Khrushchevka. I remember that. I used to live in one as well. They were the epitome of communist architecture. Right. Small, narrow, and claustrophobic. Like a cage made of concrete. A scientist might say its size was inversely proportional to how much the family members hated each other. And somehow it seemed to shrink every year. There was this urban legend going round about the front door being too narrow to fit a coffin through. I never heard that one. So, it was better not to die inside, you feel me? I wonder all the time what really happened to my parents. I never even went to that funeral. I had to run. But that's a story for another day, I guess. I'm really sorry about your parents, Sashko. Say, equipment... Artificial... We'll go protection, we'll go up, though. So the interesting thing you can see here uh, is because the armor isn't as great, oh, isn't as great for you. Doesn't mean it is like you know worse for them. There's some stuff that goes. This one gets two resistance and combat, and this only it gets two resistance, <coughs> but combat doesn't go up. So you know there's something to see. <coughs> Mikael. Hey there, boss man. Got a minute? Sure. What is it? I need to ask you something, Igor. And you have to be absolutely fucking straight with me. Whoa, Mikhail. Should I be scared? No, but I need you to really take me seriously. I sometimes get the feeling that you don't. What are your plans with NAR and Kozlov? I don't know yet. Why? Because I've got a feeling that you'd be willing to parlay with them, even come to some kind of agreement. And I want to make sure you understand that I won't fucking allow it. Is that so? What would you have me do, Mikhail? Annihilate the motherfuckers! That's what I'd have you do! Hang Kozlov from the highest branch of the tallest tree in Pripyat! Look, I came here to find Tatyana. That's what matters to me. Right, right. That's what matters to you. And what about me? There's a lot of anger in you, Mikhail. I get it, but... But what? But your motherfucking pain is better than mine? You pose as a cool and level-headed guy, but sometimes you act like an egocentric prick. What do you want from me, Mikhail? Tatiana is your goal, not mine. I will have my closure, and I'll have my revenge. You have no problem using me for your mission whenever it suits you. There may come a time when I use you for mine. Please, just try and cool off. Don't do anything rash. No promises, Professor. No fucking promises. Well, I was pretty angry. <laughs> Want to trade? Well, I, I guess, you know, that was it for this video. Uh, it was really short. Uh, sorry about that. I was trying to put a little bit of comment to see how I deal with situations. And you saw I got, like, the heavy armor, dude. And it does stun you when you get shot by them. It's not that fun. They're really annoying. Um, and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, be careful. Uh, because, you know, if they, if they hit you, they almost killed me. Uh, I was close to death, but I managed to go in here heal myself so yeah uh nothing too much special i know it's uh, short so yeah uh, hopefully the next episode is gonna be longer and hopefully i get another area not the same area i gotta go crazy if i get the same area again okay thank you for watching and hope to see you next time bye guys